The simplest motor you can make is called a homopolar motor. All we need to make this motor is a dry cell, a nail or screw, a neodymium magnet, and a piece of wire. I'm going to take my neodymium magnet and put it on the end of my screw. I'll then take the screw and stick it on my dry cell. The neodymium magnet is strong enough to magnetize the screw, which then is attracted to the steel on our dry cell. So now I'm going to run current from, this is the negative of the dry cell, through the side of the neodymium magnet, and then through the magnet, through the screw, back around. When I do this, the screw and magnet should start spinning. And they are. And they're spinning really, really fast. It'll spin several thousand RPMs. And it's spinning clockwise right now. You can hear it and you can see it. Now, if you want to better see it, I can put a paper clip on the bottom of it. And now we have a propeller or a fan blade. And so now when I do this, it's spinning clockwise again from my perspective. And you can see it go. Now there are two ways to reverse the direction that this motor spins. What do you think they are? That's right. One of them is to reverse the direction of current flow. So if I flip my battery over and I connect the screw to the negative instead of the positive, now current will flow the opposite direction, which will make the magnet spin counterclockwise this time. And there it goes. Now, if I wanted to, I'll put it back the way I had it initially, where it was spinning clockwise. So you can see it's going clockwise from my perspective and yours. Another way to reverse the direction of motion is to flip the magnet over. So if I turn my magnet over, connect it to the positive again, instead of spinning clockwise, it should spin counterclockwise. And it is. There are a lot of different ways to make these homopolar motors. Lots of different designs. I have a few other examples in my YouTube channel, but you can do Google searches and you can find many, many more.